Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we're going to be trying to restore and refurbish my old Bamboo Pampered Chef cutting board. You guys have seen this cutting board in all of my videos. I usually use it to uh, cut my meats on when we're finished with our cooks, okay? And uh, it's about three or four years old. The wife bought it for me as a gift when she went to a Pampered Chef party. And uh, it has some nicks and cuts and gashes in it and stuff like that. So we were going, we did some research, figure out how to refurbish the, a cutting board and we did the best we could. So uh, we'll take you on our journey. Uh, we even uh, uh, went so far as to laser engrave on it also. Okay, so hey, sit back, relax, check out this uh, refurbishment video and it will show you the final product at the end. All right, guys, so here we have our old Bamboo Pampered Chef cutting board. Uh, as you can see, it's got a lot of gashes and nicks and cuts on it, so it's been through its paces, okay? So it's time to give this bad boy a facelift. The supplies you're going to need is a lint-free rag, some wood glue, some cutting board oil, and three grades of sandpaper. 80 grit, 120 grit, and 220 grit. Our first step is to locate any cracks or splits in the cutting board and fill those in with a generous amount of wood glue. Once the splits and holes are filled, remove any excess wood glue from the cutting board surface. And then, before the wood glue dries, sand the cutting board with the 80 grit sandpaper using a palm sander. This will take the wood dust that is accumulated from the palm sander and adhere it to the wood glue, filling in all of the cracks and holes. After you sand both sides of the cutting board with the palm sander, use the same grit sandpaper and sand by hand. We then repeated this sanding process for both the 120 grit sandpaper and the 220 grit sandpaper. Once all the sanding was complete, we took a dry clean paintbrush and we dusted off all of the wood residue. We then took a lightly damp lint-free cloth and wiped down the surface of the entire cutting board. Once the cutting board dries, you can then add the cutting board oil, but we're going to put one step in between that. We're going to personalize our cutting board by engraving the Bad Beast logo into the bamboo wood. This is an Ortur L2 20 watt laser. What we're doing here is taking a plastic bristle brush and scrubbing the engraving to remove any of the soot from the design. Once the soot is removed from the design, we wipe down the cutting board and then we take a piece of 220 grit sandpaper and re-sand the surface to get rid of all of the dark marks made by the soot residue.
And now for the final step, we begin to add our cutting board oil. We apply our oil to a lint-free rag and we generously apply the first coat to the surface of the cutting board. Make sure you oil the entire cutting board, the front, the back, especially the groove and the sides. Once this coat of oil dries, our intentions are to add two more coats of oil to seal the cutting board. All right guys, so that's a quick look at how we refurbished and sanded and started to re-oil our cutting board here. As you can see, we got our uh, Bad Beast logo engraved, laser engraved in the cutting board. Um, the reason it's so dark is because different woods uh, laser engrave uh, at different tones. And so this being a bamboo uh, cutting board or one of Pampered Chef's earlier bamboo cutting boards, um, then bamboo engraves a little bit darker than other woods. So, well, that's about it. If you got any questions or comments, hit me up down below and uh, I'll do what I can to answer them for you. We got one more Cutting, wooden cutting board that I need to do uh, and we'll probably engrave that with something else from the from the show so hey well thanks for joining us tonight like we always say where there's smoke there's fire if it's fire then damn it there just might be a barbecue there hey as always and we'll see you guys around the smoker <laughs>